How are you everybody? How are you today? This is the last lecture in our course Advanced Mathematics. This is the lecture number 10 for fourth year statistic English section Ben University 2020 and the last lecture on online courses in the first semester of 2020 and 2021. This is the last lecture about Advanced Mathematics and I want from every student to study this lecture very closely and understand what is the meaning of matrices in this lecture matrix algebra for engineers and statistics this is a course this is lecture related to matrix algebra for engineers and statistics and this lecture is very important in this semester related to advanced mathematics definition of a matrix View this lecture on YouTube. It's very important to view this lecture on YouTube. Definition of a matrix. An M by N matrix. An M by N matrix. Is rectangular array of numbers. Rectangular array of numbers or other mathematical objects with m rows and n columns for example a 2 by 2 matrix a with two rows and two columns looks like a equal a p c d these are two by two matrix two row and two rows and two columns the first row has element a and b the second row has element C and G. The first column has elements A and C. And the second column has elements B and D. As further examples, 2 by 3 and 3 by 2 matrices looks like B equal A, B, C. This is the first row. D, C, F. This is the second row. C, A, B, A, D, B, E, C, F. Of special importance are column and matrices and row matrices. These matrices are also called vectors. The column vector is in general n by 1 and the row vector is 1 by n. For example, when n equals 3, we would write a column vector as we will see in the next slide. x equal vector a, b, c and a row vector as y equal a, b, c. x is a column vector. x is a column vector. x is a column vector contains an element a, b, c. Y is the row vector A, B, C. It's very important to know for your, for your exam. What is the row vector and the column vector? A useful notation for writing a general M by N matrix A, capital A is capital A11, E12, up to A1N. A21, A22, up to A2N. AM1, AM2, up to MN. Here, the matrix elements of A in the i row and the j column, this and the j column is denoted as A I G. This is a general element in this matrix. Addition and multiplication of matrices. Also, you can view this lecture on YouTube. It's very important. Matrices can be added only if they has the same dimensions. Addition proceeds element by element. For example, the first matrices, matrix A, B, C, D plus C plus E, F, G, H equal A plus E and B plus F, C plus J and D plus H. Matrices can also be multiplied by a scalar. The rule is to just imply every element of the matrices, for example, K multiplied by A, B, C, D equal K, A, K, 
B, K, C, and K, D. This is multiplication by a singular, by a unique number, by one number multiplied by a matrices. Matrices is other than the scalar can be multiplied only if the number of columns of the left matrix equals the number of rows of the right matrix. In other words, any M by N matrix on the left can only be multiplied by N N by K matrix on the right. The, the resulting matrix will be N by K. Evidently, matrix multiplication, multiplication is generally not cumulative. We illustrate multiplication using 2 by 2 matrices. A, B, C, D is the first matrix. E, F, G, H is the second matrix. Equal. A, C plus P, G. A, F plus P, H. C E plus B G, C F plus D H. Okay, first, the first row of the left matrix is multiplied against and summed with the first column of the right matrix to obtain the element in the first row and first column of the product matrix. Second, the first row is multiplied against and summed with the second column. Third, the second row is multiplied against the summed with the first column. And the fourth is the second row is multiplied against and summed with the second column. In general, an element in the resulting product matrix say in now in row I and column G is obtained by multiplying and summing the elements in row I of the left matrix with the elements in the column J of the right matrix. We can formally write matrix multiplication in terms of the matrix elements. Let A be an M by N matrix with matrix elements A, I, J and let B an N by P matrix with the matrix element B, I, J. Then C capital equal A capital B capital in a M by N matrix. And this IJ matrix element can be written as CIJ equal AIJ plus BJK. Notice that the second index of A and the first index of B are summed over. Now, special matrices. The zero matrix denoted by zero can be any size and is a matrix consisting of all zero elements. Multiplication by a zero matrix result in a zero matrix. The identity matrix denoted by I is a square matrix. Number of rows equal number of columns with one down the main diagonal with ones down the main diagonal. The main diagonal equal one in identity matrix. If A and I are the same size square matrices in A, I equal I, A equal A. This is identity matrix, all the main diagonal equal one. And the multiplication by the identity matrix leave this matrix unchanged. The zero and the identity matrices play the role of the numbers zero and one in a matrix multiplication. For example, the two by two zero and the identity matrices are given by zero. All the elements in this matrix, matrix must be equal to zero. Identity matrix, the main diagonal must be equal one. A diagonal matrix has its only non-zero elements on the diagonal. For example, a 2 by 2 diagonal matrix is given by T equal D1, 0, 0, D2. Usually, diagonal matrices is referred to square matrices, but they can be rectangular. 
a pend or banded matrix has non-zero elements only a diagonal pants for example a 3 by 3 band matrix with non-zero diagonals one above and one below a zero main diagonal called a tridiagonal matrix is given by the next slide the matrix b d1 a1 0 b1 d1 d a2 0 b2 d3 an upper and lower triangular matrix is a square matrix ha that has zero elements below or above the diagonal for example 3 by 3 upper and lower triangle matrices are given by u equal a b c 0 d e 0 0 f this is the upper lower a 0 0 b d 0 b d 0 c e f this is the upper and lower triangular matrices inner and outer products what is the meaning of inner and outer products the inner product or dot product or scalar product between two vectors is obtained from the matrix product of a row vector times a column vector a row vector can be obtained from a column vector by the transpose operator with the three by one column vectors u and v the inner product is given by u transpose v multiplied by u1 u2 u3 this is a column vector uh, this is a row vector the column vector v1 v2 v3 equal v u1 v1 plus u2 v2 plus u3 v3 if the inner product between two non-zero vector is zero we say that the vector are orthogonal orthogonal the none of a vector is defined as this is orthogonal this is the shape of our orthogonal matrices if the number of vector is equal to one if the number of vectors is equal to one we say that the vector is memorialized called normalized is called normalized if a set of vectors are mutually orthogonal and normalized we say that these vectors are orthonormal and outer product is also defined and is used in some applications the outer product between u and v is given by this is the shape of outer product notice that every column is multiply of the single vector u and every row is multiply of a single vector v transpose this is what I want to say about inner and outer product. A less obvious fact is that the transpose of the matrix matrices is equal to the product of transpose with the order of multiplication reversed i. A P transpose equal A transpose plus P transpose or B transpose plus A transpose. If A is a square matrix and the A transpose equal A, then we say that A is a symmetric. A is a symmetric matrix. If A transpose equal minus A, then we say that A is a symmetric. For example, 3 by 3 symmetric and skew symmetric matrices looks like A, B, C, D, B, D, A, C, E, F. O zero C minus B O E minus C minus E O. Notice that the diagonal element of the skew matrix must be zero. This is the last slide in matrices and in our course advanced mathematics. I want for students to study all lectures online and face to face very closely. And I want every student 
to take the higher degree in our course. Thank you for everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you for everybody. See you in the next lecture in the faculty and on the faculty website. Thank you for everybody.